be according to him. Just fuck my life. I'm just gonna just be alone. Like I always am. <laughs> At least I have my grandpa and my dog. <laughs> So I'm so sad my plug in doesn't Being work. Fucking so felt disrespected and trashed and made feel like a piece. Sorry guys, my plug in was bothering me. I, I had to get that out. Sorry. Janitor Square's here, guys! Janitor Square! What's up, Janitor Square? Oh, that's fucking great. It's a feel that I literally acted like it some on camera. But you know what? Like I said. I don't know who Janitor Square is, but you should definitely go on, like, his next live and say something. Get under pressure. I'm sorry I acted that way, but... No one's willing to apologize to me back, so why should I make really a sincere apology when I'm not going to get one either? Hell, I'll probably even think about making one first. <laughs> Let's oh, see shit. what happens. Janitor Square. Not today, though. That ain't going to be alone. I'm going to be alone, and I'm going to not talk to anybody. We almost cared, cared there I for like no seconds, me. Square. We almost cared for like zero fucking seconds there, buddy. Oh, just wish, I just wish. Have a good day, everybody. Make sure to take care of yourselves and don't let yourselves get exposed. Alright, I'm done with Janitor Square here. Uh, let's see what else is going on. <sighs> oh, fuck it. If I put his name right. Nope, sorry. We can't give Janitor Square a wrench. He's not a very good janitor, so he doesn't need equipment to help him get better. So. <laughs> oh, shit. Janitor Square, huh? All right, well, I'm going to warn you guys before I turn this next live on. We're going to listen to some of Psycho Babble. If you're a fan of him, you might not want to stay here. Like, my opinion of him is not good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm heads up. Like, I don't agree with most of the stuff he says. Like, I'm not the fan, I'm not a big fan of Psycho Babble. When he started going after women and doing the same thing he went after Upchurch for, uh, yeah, I just I'm not the I'm not a big fan of the guy, so I will probably badmouth the guy, and I'm just giving you guys a head up heads up before I click the live. Like I don't agree with most of the things he says anymore, but if you're cool with that, everybody has their own opinion. If you like him, cool. Stay here and tell me why you like him. I'm not gonna you're not gonna get blocked for liking him. That's just not how I am. But, yeah, here we go. We'll have to skip over the music. I'm sure he's playing some we kind of... Posted it? Yeah, we know. Um, pathetic child. The instant you type it. You just look like a pathetic child. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> I don't want to play the music. I got that automobile when I took a shit this morning. And, and what 
reason on this earth would somebody have to fabricate such an intricate part if it doesn't exist? I mean, how damn dumb can you be, right? And uh, OG Ghost, you're, you're living in some kind of an alternative universe. Because the truth is, Crack Squad's been a bunch of despicable pigs. You do realize, dumbass, you're part of the Crack Squad. The stuff you're calling them out for is stuff you're doing too. After Ryan Upchurch was a despicable pig. Hold on, guys. Let me tell you why I think Psycho Babble's doing the stuff he's doing. And see if you agree with me or you don't agree with me. That's up to you. Uh, so. I think, and this is just my fucking honest opinion, that he's seen what Johnny Gobble, what Johnny Gobble's like, now friends with the Upchurch family. Like, he's on Ryan's mother's panel. He's, uh, getting stuff from Ryan Upchurch's family. Like, so I think, Psycho Babble thinks if he goes after Upchurch, Upchurch is eventually going to come after him. Upchurch is going to make videos about him. Eventually that'll end like it has ended for Johnny with Psycho Babble. So then Psycho Babble will all of a sudden be an Upchurch fan again because, well, Ryan's talking about him. I think that's the whole point of why this old 65-year-old man is going after people that are fans of Ryan Upchurch. I mean, if you disagree, let me know, but... He's so bad wants Ryan Upchurch to be his buddy. The cycle battle has been on the side of right from day one. There ain't been No you haven't. The fuck you have. You're literally going after and stalking people. You also put a woman on your community tab and her name yesterday. You're not a good guy. You're just not. Some people might think you are. I don't. Nobody trolled by me that didn't come, write the check, and cash it. What, but one person docks by me, and that's the son of a bitch that docks me. Right? Remember? OG Ghost, remember? Does everybody else... Oh, oh, just one person. You, you, you've you doxed more than one person. So, if you're gonna fucking make up a story, Psycho Babble, at least tell the whole story, because we know for a fact you've doxed more than one freaking person. I mean, let's be real. Because you're the only one that done it. Remember that? Yeah. <coughs> so say that nobody's buying that story anymore, dude. You've wore it out. People just look at you like a pathetic child it's the instant you type it. You just look like a pathetic child. No, there's nothing in my past I'm ashamed of. No, there's absolutely not a single sex crime in my past. No, there's not a single... If this guy wasn't ashamed about something in his past, he would not bring this up every single live. Every single live. He brings up that there's nothing in his past that he is regretted about. But yet he brings that up in every single live. Which means there is something from his past that bothers him very badly. Or he wouldn't bring this up every single time. Closure in my past. No, there's not a single bounce check in my past. No, I don't have a truck with a bad transmission. Just say it. Just, you guys wore it out. It's a joke. 